everybody, my name is Zaria and I'm the founding designer here at Create. Today I'm going to show you how to build a UTM link generator with Create. This is going to be a basic tutorial of what Create is, how to use it, and give you a sense of the sorts of things that you're able to build with Create. So if you haven't visited our homepage before or haven't played with Create before, basically Create allows you to build apps, projects in real time in English. So you're building like full code apps, but you don't need to know how to code to build them. So you're just going to type in English and Create is going to use AI to write the code to make your project real. So um, hopefully you'll get kind of a sense of how that works as I run through everything today. So this is our homepage. If you haven't been here before, you can go ahead and create an account on this page. I already have an account, so I have a blank project already open for us. So we're just going to start here with this blank project. So in the Create Builder, there are two different halves. So over here is going to be your project preview, and then over here is going to be where you're going to type your project spec. So this is where that English coding is happening. Um, and so you're just gonna write what you want here, and then you're going to be able to see a preview here. And I'll go over all of these options as we continue and as we get started. So I'm gonna start off by writing our project spec. So um, we want a UTM link generator, so I'm gonna just start typing that in. Kind of give it a title. Um, and you can already see that it started building right there. And so I want different sections. So we want space for them to put in a URL source, medium, campaign, content, and term. So um, these are the different you know, aspects of what I want to put into my UTM. Um, and then at the end, the user should be able to see the complete one. And then they should also be, I want them to be able to click a button to copy it. So it's just a little easier. Um, I have clearly have stage fright typing for the demo. Um, so as we're here, you're going to start to see your project already building. So what I've put in this side panel right here is going to start to show up on the screen, and you can already kind of see that. So there are a couple different ways that you can look at this. So this is going to be our desktop view right here. You can also look on mobile and then this is where the code's going to start coming in. So this code's coming in as you're typing and as it's building and you could see that there. Um, and then we have two different modes. So we have build mode and demo mode. Here in build mode I'm able to kind of like individually edit things. This is still a way to edit. I can edit text here. I could upload photos if I had photos here. Whereas in demo mode, this is going to be like my app actually functions. So this is a great way to test your app as you're creating it. Um, I really like using demo in this sort of expanded mode sometimes if I really want to test stuff out because this is going to give me that full width. I can really feel what the app's going to feel like, especially on desktop. Um, and then you can kind of navigate back here. Up at the top, I have share and publish. So publish is, you know, if I want to publish this app, I'm going to get a URL that I can then access whenever I want, fully published app. Share, I can share the link with friends. Um, this is going to be my undo, redo. So this is going to be really helpful, especially if you're trying things out, to be able to go back, go forward, kind of, you know, not have anything be too permanent while you're doing your app. Um, this is your title, so I'm actually just going to take this right here and I'm going to name our project so I can keep track of it later. Um, and then this create logo is going to take me back to the dashboard, back to access all of my projects and allow me to create a new project if I want to. So let's kind of jump back in. So this is actually looking pretty good. Um, create automatically usually gets a lot of functionality. So I kind of have a feeling um, based on this that it already knows what a UTM is. So I'm going to just get a sense of the functionality 
Um, source will do like newsletter, medium, email, campaign name, hello, um, hello. <laughs> Just want to kind of get a sense. So um, it looks like it's actually creating the UTM already. So I don't have to give it instructions on how to do that. It already knows and already is able to use AI to put that functionality together. So I'm just going to change a couple of things to make this really useful and what I want. So first of all, I don't sort of love that I have to type in source and medium. These are two things that I definitely want to be the same across all my ATMs. So I don't want to risk any typos. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to tell it to make this a drop down menu. And I want it to include newsletter and Twitter and LinkedIn, maybe like blog. TikTok, wherever I might do, wherever I might add something. And I can go back and I can expand this list and, um, you know, as I add new things. And I think I want medium to be a drop down too. So I'm going to do drop down menu here too. And here I'm just going to have like email and social. So this way I know it's going to be the same every single time. And so you can see that right now, we're building these different changes. Um, I also want content and term to be optional because I don't always have those when I'm making a UTM. And so that's going to be kind of building out. Again, you can see the code come through as it's building. So you're able to really, you know, get a sense of what's going on. Um, Again, you don't have to know how to code to use create. So this really is just a way that you can kind of get a sense of what's happening. Even if you're only able to sort of read code, this can be really helpful. But again, if you're not able to, you don't need to. Everything is going to be controlled with this panel here. And then your preview is just going to show up on this side here. So we're going to give it another second to kind of take these changes in. Um, now that my I'm in demo mode and the it's finished building, so I'm actually going to click refresh and it's going to give me the new version here. So now you can see we have drop down menus for source and we have drop down menus for medium, and then also our content and term are optional now. So this is super helpful, um, and we're going to go through demo mode and I'm just going to try it again. So we have create.xyz. Um, and then let's do a Twitter post. So that's going to be social. Um, our campaign is test builder. And then I don't want content. I don't want term. And then I'm going to just kind of test out this copy link button. So I'm going to press copy and let's open up a new tab. And there it is. That works. So um, I was able to easily kind of move between those two different pages. Um, but I actually want this to be more custom. And because we're using this at Create, I want this to have Create branding and I want it to, you know, just look a little bit more like our world of Create. So I'm going to add in some styles here. So for font, I'm going to use Enter. Create actually is able to access all Google fonts. So as long as you have a Google font in there, Create is able to use it. Um, and you can really make you know fun custom things with, with Create there. Um, and then I actually want the text to be our you know text color, which I have the, the hex code here. I'm going to um, have that be the text. I want our button to be the create button color, which is going to be here. And then I want the background. I actually want to keep the background white. So I'm going to just write white. Um, you're able to use hex codes in create, but you're also able to just type out colors. So I could put in the hex code for white, or I can just say white. And either way, it's going to work. Um, so I can actually go back to build mode and in build mode kind of see it building out a little bit more. I can also look at the code um, and the code, I can see the code building out as well. So um, you can kind of see it coming through as it's building. I also, um, I also think I want the 
you know, this look this, this looks good. Um, actually, let's no, let's add a title. So I'm gonna add a title up here, and I'm just gonna call it create UTM link generator, um, and I want that title to be bold, large. Um, really kind of make sure everybody knows what page they're on when they're when they're here. Um, another thing that I'm noticing that I kind of want to mess with is you see select source and select medium. Um, now that they're drop downs, the text isn't the same gray as everything else. So I'm just going to actually put that in here. Um, I'm going to say make all placeholder text and drop down menu titles the same shade of gray. So as I'm building, I really like to kind of go back and edit content as I go. So um, I kind of put in those init that initial spec, and then now I'm going back and I'm editing the spec. So you don't just have to add things to the bottom, but you can really kind of like go back and forth and navigate entirely. You're able to type well it's building as well. So you don't have to wait for it to finish loading. You can really kind of like keep moving and keep going as you think of things. So as you can see it coming in now, like I've changed the same state of grade for those drop down menus. So now everything kind of looks a little bit nicer, like in this initial initial state when it's empty. We have the create color, we have the create font, um, and I want this title to be centered to, so I'm just going to make that change right there. Again, you can just kind of like keep, keep going and keep updating as it's building. So I'm just going to do a flip into demo mode and test this out. Let's make it full screen so we can really sort of get a sense. Again, this is happening as it's still building. I can still use demo mode even though things are happening in the background. So let's make a nice um, UTM. So I'm going to have create.xyz. Let's do a blog this time. Medium um, would be social campaign name. Let's have it be, um, you know, builder. We can do builder test again. Um, and then let's add a term, even though we don't have content, our term can be like UTM. And so here we can see the link. Um, I can copy the link and then I can paste the link and you can see that this will kind of take me back to Create's website. So looks like that is working actually really well. And we have a full UTM link generator. So here, let's refresh, see if it, it got that centered title. So this is looking really good. I'm really happy with it. So I hope this gives you kind of a sense of what Create is capable of and how to use the builder in general. There's a lot of really fun projects that you can do and different you know, different things that you can explore here. Some of our favorites are, you know, doing little games you can make or calculators or um, really check out our homepage and you can kind of get a sense of some of the projects that you're able to make. And also feel free to reach out to any members of the Create team to get any questions asked or learn more. Um, this was super fun to do with everybody and it was nice to meet you all. Thanks so much.